Hey, what's up guys? My name is Joanne and welcome back to my channel. I decided for this week's video, I am going to do a little makeup tutorial. This is just basically how I do my makeup in the morning before I go to work. So if there's anything I do wrong, please forgive me for it. Um, the other day I went to town and I had to get a few things, a uh, few makeup items and I'm just basically, uh, let's say it's going to be like a little mini haul and then the makeup tutorial afterwards. Right, let's get started with the haul first. Um, I bought, I went to, I think it was Fushini's and uh, because that's the only place in town I can find quite decent um, makeup. So yeah, I went to Fushini's, I need to get new um, foundation and new powder and I was also looking for a different color lipstick to the ones that I usually wear, um, use. Um, I don't know if I, you remember in a previous video I talk, spoke about my favorites and my I mentioned that some of my favorite makeup to use is by Yardley and I actually got the first item I got was um, this one it's the Yardley pressed powder in translucent so yeah basically I'm just gonna show you the refill I opened the other day um, this is what it looks like it's very light but it's like I say it's translucent if I can just so it basically I don't know if you will be able to see that there you go I really like this one I um, just basically set my makeup with it right the next item I got was um, the Yardley stay fast foundation with SPF 20 and this is in the color um, sand beige uh, I'll just show you what it looks like on my skin you can just see there's not really my color but um, when I put it on and I put the translucent powder over it it kind of blends in nicely I really like this foundation I usually I actually prefer uh, like a matte mousse type of thing um, but uh, this is also this is also one they didn't have the matte mousse so I got this one and this is also a nice one it's like really creamy and it it's not oily or anything on my skin right the last item I got was this Yardley lipstick and the color is in violet it's super moist in violet and let me just show you how it looks okay it looks very red in the I can show you like that it's not really focusing it looks very red in the um, in the view in the camera but it's actually a little more if I could say I don't know what the real color the name is but it's like maroon almost let me put it on this side there you go it still looks very red I was looking for a darker I've got like a mauve and lighter pinks and I was looking for a darker kind of red right so those are the three items I got from Yardley First things first, I start with my concealer, just to conceal around my eyes and um, like if I've got like red red marks around my on my chin or around my nose, I also put a bit of concealer on my eyes, like I say, under my eyes for those dark um, rings. And I usually, what I usually do is I just take a bit on my finger. This, by the way, is Revlon's Age Defying Concealer. Almost finished. Next up, some foundation. I'm just gonna put it on this little sponge. Have like a bit on it. Just 
Oh, it looks almost kind of blended in. Right, next for the pressed powder. Uh, okay, I'm using like a flat brush like this. You can also use a like a fluffy brush like this. I'm just gonna use this one. And you just hammer this on. I don't know if you can see, but you see it doesn't like really go like spooky white. Just gives your skin like a matte texture to it. Put some on your ears because you don't want your ears in a, a different color to the rest of your skin. Right. There you go. Um, next up I'm gonna do the blush. Um, I just got you like a almost like a almost a brownish blush so yeah, I'd like to go start there and I'll just bring it down like that on my cheekbone and then just go over it a bit Another little bit of powder just to not go over so dark. Next up is my eyebrows. I use um, like a really dark, where is it? Like a really dark, that one, a dark brown. And I use a little angled brush. I can find it. See a little angled brush like this. Next I'm going to do eyeshadows and if I can just show you like this, this is the palette I'm using and I am going to use, uh, which colors, I'm going to use uh, this color over here, um, this one over here and that one and maybe a bit of that, oh my goodness, it just fell out, sorry. Yeah, it's going to be like a little, little pinkish going to brown, very natural. First things first, I take a like an eyeshadow brush like this, like for all over and I do the lightest color, that's this one there you go and I'm just going to put it on all over my lid Right, the next color I'm going to do, I said I was going to do this one, but I'm not, it's a little too orangey. I'm going to do the one next to it, that one, and then I'm going to do that one last. So, just this one. And I'm going to go in my crease. Just in my crease, and down. And then basically a V onto my lid. Last color I'm gonna use like a little um, eyeshadow brush like that one and I'm gonna do do this top color yeah and I'm just gonna go right into the crease basically doing just going over the previous color but getting it at its darkest right at, on the inside. I'm just gonna go with the first color just over it just to 
lightened all up a little bit. And there you go. Just want to tidy up a bit here. And that's my eyeshadows my eyeshadow next up is eyeliner now I don't really use a, a pencil eyeliner at my bottom I prefer these like uh, eyeliners with a tip here if I can just show you like that I prefer these and I usually only do the top my top lid now I'm not gonna do a wing or anything because I'm not really good at it I'm just basically gonna draw my line in then I start here at the. I just want to get some st stability here. Right at the end. I just draw. This is usually the part where I stick the eyeliner in my eye. Let's hope it doesn't happen. This one. that's my eyeliner done and then only thing left on my eyes is my mascara and I use for this I use a, a Rimmel you see um, scandalize retro glam in this is just black I really love this this is like my, one of my favorite mascaras build it up also I'm trying not to stick it in my eye just gonna go over this side again And there you go, my eyes are done. You can see that. Right, so the only thing we've got left is the lipstick. And I'm, like I said, I'm using the Yardley um, Super Moist in Violet. I'm just going to find that on here. Right, so that is the complete look. This is basically how I do my makeup. It takes me about 15-20 minutes in the morning to do it. If you like the video, please um, click the like button below and leave a comment what you thought about it. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, follow me on all my social media. I will link the link. I uh, will leave the link in the um, description box. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, you can click the subscribe button as well. And yeah, till next time, um, I love you all and please stay safe. Bye.